we've got something truly groundbreaking to share with you. A massive update to Google's AI platform that's set to revolutionize the game. We're talking about the Bard update, and not just any old version update. No, this will completely change the way we interact with Google's AI system. In a previously released video, we discussed the major differences between Bard and ChatGPT, focusing on the issues that GPT has with fact-checking and its data past 2021. Given the enormous amount of misinformation on the internet, wouldn't it be cool to know there was a place we could all go to ensure the information we're searching for was accurate and reliable? In this video, we'll be covering this very topic and all the major release features of Google's latest update. So team, stay tuned as we deliver the lowdown for you. You may already know that BARD is one of the most unique and creative AI chatbots out there, and a great alternative to ChatGPT but it hasn't necessarily had the same air time and popularity as GPT. Initially, with Bard, you could just chat on the web or on your phone and ask it to do anything from writing a poem to tips about your next trip. Well, that's all changed. Google have been working tirelessly to revolutionize Bard's features and functions. The end product is a hugely powerful AI system that can connect to your Google services and apps like Docs, YouTube, Google Maps, and Google Flights. BARD is also vastly improved at customizing its responses. Let's take a look at some of those features and see what they can do for us. Google says this release of BARD is their most capable model yet. With multilingual support, BARD can now chat with you in 40 plus languages, including Spanish, German, Chinese, Japanese, Hindi, Urdu, and so on. So impressive is the BARD update that you can start your conversation in one language and switch to another language at any time. BARD will automatically detect your language input and respond accordingly. It can even translate your text or speech from one language to another. So if you start a conversation in English and say, hi BARD, how are you today? It'll give you an answer in English, but then start your next response in another language, for example, and please excuse my French. A key apart in YouTube, and it will respond in that language without any specification. Then ask BARD to translate this text back into English, and it'll do that too. So with multilingual support, you can learn a new language, translate research papers, reach a wider business audience, or just impress your friends on social media. And for anyone that's trying to start a business, you'll know that building a website without the skills can be tough. BARD can now provide coding assistance with coding tasks in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It'll fix a bug in your code, and you can even ask BARD to create a simple website for you. The new BARD will also deliver facts, opinions, arguments, or unique perspectives on any topic you want. But most importantly, you can ask BARD to compare and contrast different sources of information or evaluate the credibility and bias of the information, which is hugely valuable in a world full of fake news. But one of the most exciting features announced in this BARD update are the BARD extensions. In fact, truly game-changing. In case you're not familiar, extensions are software programs that extend the functionality of the host software like plugins. Google Bard extensions allow you to connect Google services and apps to Bard. Bard can then find and display relevant information for you from Google services. Currently, Bard supports a number of extensions that include Google apps like Docs, Maps, YouTube, and Google Flights. To get access and enable extensions on Google Bard, click the extension icon from the top right corner of the toolbar. Or you can get access via a pop-up, which usually appears after you open the Bard website. You'll find that a number of extensions are automatically selected and you have the option to enable Google Workspace as well, which includes your emails, Drive, and Docs. To use any of these extensions, you just have to mention at in your prompt. For example, if you're planning a vacation and want to use BARD extensions to help you plan the trip, you can do this by giving it a prompt like, show me flights from New York to London. Then type add and select Google Flights. Click enter and it'll give you all of the information you need. The Maps extension will provide directions, distances, travel times, traffic conditions, or places of interest for any location you need. You can ask BARD to show you the best route from your home to the office or find the nearest coffee shop or gas station. You can even ask BARD to show you a map or satellite view of any location you want. So for example, if we tell BARD we're going from LA to San Francisco, and ask it to help us plan a road trip, it'll show the directions, distance, travel time, and traffic conditions for the trip. Or you can use the flights and hotels extension for your trip. You've got everything you need for your vacay, and that's not all. With these extensions, BARD can now access YouTube and show you videos related to any topic you want. Just ask BARD to show you the latest viral videos, or maybe an AI cover song you like. It's all there in an instant. Maybe you wanna learn something new, like how to play the guitar. Just ask Bard for guitar tutorials type at select YouTube and hit enter. 
It's that simple. Another great extension is Google Workspace, where Bard connects to your email, calendar, drive, docs, and other apps. With Google Workspace, you can use Bard as an assistant or collaborator. You can ask Bard to read your emails, create and edit documents, schedule events, or create meetings. For example, if you ask it to help you write a report, it'll create a new document in Google Docs and use it to write your report for you. It'll even add topics, outlines, and references without your input. And you can use the Workspace extension to create presentations without even having to open Google Slides. Another cool feature is to let Workspace organize your files on Google Drive. It'll create folders for you based on file types like documents, videos, and images. Then you can ask Bard to move, rename, delete, or copy your files. The whole point is to minimize admin, giving you more time to get on with what you do best. But the new Bard doesn't stop there. A new feature called Google It will double check and verify any Bard response. Simply hit the G button after a response from Bard and it will validate its initial response, providing links to source materials it used. If the content is factually correct, it'll highlight in green. And by clicking on the highlighted text, it'll show you the verified source. Then you can use public link sharing, which lets you share your Bard interactions with anyone you want using a unique link that you can copy and paste anywhere. You can also choose whether you want to share your conversation as read-only or editable. When you click on a link that someone shared with you, you'll see their conversation history with Bard in a new tab. And you can either view it or join it. If you choose to join it, you'll be able to chat with Bard in your own account and continue the conversation that someone shared with you. To do this, just click on the share icon below a response, then select this prompt and response. But if you want to share the entire conversation, then select the entire chat option. Bard will then use your prompt as a headline. Then click on the Create Public Links option at the bottom, and on the next pop-up, click on the copy icon to copy the link and share it with anyone. It's a fact-checked and verified three-way conversation, which is kind of crazy cool. 